Hello and welcome back to another episode of GeoGuessr. My name is Wizzy Zero, you can also call me Wizzy. And today we are continuing with the Canadian Provinces Challenge. This week's province is British Columbia. Now this challenge is, of course, four minutes, as always. Just like the state's challenges. And let's get right into it. Okay, so British Columbia is this section here. Uh, let's go south. Kind of my motto on locations like this. I, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but... I always say to go south in locations like this. Shaken Indian Reserve number 11. Probably mispronounced that, or butchered the pronunciation, but. So we're in an Indian Reserve. Probably more northern British Columbia. Now we're heading east. It's another direction I always try to go in as well, if it's like an east-west road. Especially in North America, because more there are more things to the east, or more likely there are more things to the east than there are to the west. I mean, not saying that's not the, always the case. But... That's just kind of like my rule of thumb. Although probably in previous videos I never followed that anyways, but... <clears throat> Basically, if there's nothing promising either direction, then just go either east or south. But if one way looks more promising than another, then definitely go the way that's more promising. Although I'm sure um, quite a few of you already played GeoGuessr and probably do better than I do. So, I mean, whatever you're doing, keep on doing it. Don't listen to me. Okay, we've got a minute left. All we really know is that we're in an Indian reservation. It's like Shaykham Indian Reservation number 11. I really don't think we're going to find anything else. But I'm going to go down the road just a little bit more. See if I can get... See what this sign is. Okay. Let's take a look. Got half of a minute left. I'm gonna say we're probably probably not on that road. We could be, but I'm sure we're probably not. Might be more like down here, maybe. I'm definitely thinking we're more northern. Nope, we were southern. Come on. Please let me zoom in. Please. Thank you. Okay, we were on the 8. So in this instance, I probably should have gone north. Although I don't know how long it would have taken us to get to there. 
I don't even know where we really finished. Was it down here? If that's the case, then we definitely would have reached the one. Oh well. Now this one... I feel like is more southern. Go east. Didn't really look like there's anything promising the other direction. What are all these? Just speed limit signs? It's weird that they're like on a hinge. Kind of. What's this sign say? Probably nothing useful. Actually, Castle... Castle Gar, 18 kilometers to the west. Castle Gar, we, ac we at least have a town name. Although trying to find that is going to be like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Now if we could find some sort of like root number And that would help. There's definitely a lot of signs here. Break check. Break check advisory. Definitely want to check your brakes going before going down these hills. Oh, I don't think we're really going to find anything else, but let's keep going for now. I have a feeling we're not going to do very good on this challenge. I mean, as of right now, we only have 42 points. Not very good with Canada. I mean, I'm okay. I know, like, which coast you're on for the most part. I think I'm going to give myself a bit more time this time. That way we can at least try and see if we can find Castlegar. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find anything else. I don't even know how big it is. Oh, right here, Castlegar. So, we're probably on the three then, I would assume. We're heading south now. I wonder if we're currently, like, right here. Let's go back. So, it was east-west, basically. Exact, almost. And then we started kind of curving towards... I wonder if we're, like, right up in here. Oh, that curves to the left as well. Definitely not up in there. Oh, we could be on this road right here. Or in that section. Is that where I had it before? You know, I think it was. Wait, was it? Or did I... Where did I have it before? Was it right here? I don't remember now. Whatever, we were actually pretty close that one. Oh boy, we're on a dirt road. Now let's go east again. Although in this... Um, t our province probably should go west, I suppose, but no matter. We're going east, though. 
I already said we were going to go east. And I already started going east. I mean, we're kind of going south now. out South-ish. Southeast, more so. See if we can come on to a paved road. At least we have telephone poles right now, so... If, we, if those go away, then we know to turn around and go the other direction. I don't know how far it's going to be. kind of looks like there's a ski slope over that way. Like a ski mountain. Kind of hard to tell right now with all the trees in the way. But it kind of looked like there might have been some trails over that way. On that mountain there. I don't know if we're going to run into anything or not. This one I am thinking more northern this time. Yeah, because it looks like there might be like a trail there, a trail here. This one's probably more like up in here. So I'm going to place a marker for now. Oops, what's this say? 19... Is that a kilometer marker, or is that some sort of, like, route? I doubt it'd be some sort of route. Probably more like a kilometer marker. If we come across another one that says 20, then it's definitely a kilometer marker. I don't think we're going to get off this road, though. <clears throat> There's another one right there. 21. So I probably should have gone west then. Although I don't know if we would have been able to go... We probably started well, around 15, 16 uh, kilometer. So I don't know if we would have been able to get to the beginning of it that quick or not. Got just under a minute left. Really have nothing to go by. The reason why I'm thinking kind of more northwestern, kind of near Alaska, is because this looks a bit more like Alaska. Oh, well, that's no good. Well, let's go back to the start. I'm not going to really continue on anywhere. Um, problem is, we need to find a road. And I'm not really seeing any roads over there. So put it on the 37. I know we're not on the 37. I just don't see any roads. Okay, once again, well, actually, that was a bit more, um, middle. We're not doing very good, are we? Let's go south. We've just been in the middle of nowhere in all of them, although we found the last one. Yeah, that's because I found that town. Or that town name. But if it wasn't for that, I'd have a whole lot lesser points than what I have right now. I mean, at this rate, I don't even think I'm going to get over 10,000 points. But It's all a learning experience. That's all what it is, really. That truck is of no help whatsoever. Had, like, nothing on it. That truck kind of went too far.
Watch, I'm gonna guess probably middle to southern part on this one, and it's gonna be northern. Okay, we got some town na our town names. Fort Nelson, 80 kilometers, and Watson Lake, 600 kilometers. Let's just see if I can find either of those. Fort Nelson is right here. So, Watson Lake is 600 kilometers. I'm just seeing if I can gauge, um, like a distance, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm going to say we're definitely on the 97 then. We're heading more west now. I think we did start up here and then we kind of churned. I doubt we'll find any other signs. If we do, should have Prophet River on it. So I'm assuming if we get just a little bit further up here, the road is going to curve to the left. Prophet Harbor. Or Prophet River, rather, eight kilometers, and Fort St. John, three hundred kilometers. So yeah, we're definitely down here. So it looks like it's that corner up there that bends to the left. So yeah, actually, I think. No, we're not up in this part. We are definitely on this part here. How far from that corner were we? We were a little ways, weren't we? Now, what about that way? Yeah, we're definitely like somewhere up in this section here. I think we're going to be fairly close. I'm not even going to move it. I'm going to leave it right where it's at. Let the time run out. 2.8 miles. So we actually we were on this section here. I'll take it. <clears throat> oh, we're actually in a town. I think we are definitely southern. Um... Go this way. Not because it's east, but it just kind of looks a bit more promising. I guess, I don't know. Kind of hard to tell. Got a stop sign up here. Let's go back to the stop sign. 232 Street and 64th Ave. Hmm. 232nd and 64th. See if we can find anything else. Got a rotary here. Or a roundabout. Which one, or either one, I guess, I suppose. 56th Ave. Still on 232nd. Don't know if this is the best way to go or not. I just noticed we actually are over 10,000 points. Well, with that last round, too, that definitely helped. Okay, we've got a traffic light here. Fraser Highway. Okay, let's go... 
don't know if this is... I mean, this is definitely a main road. But I don't know... Let's go this way. Is that just for a bike route? That sign back there? I wonder if we're like in a suburb of um, Vancouver. Or outside of Vancouver, rather. I mean, that would kind of make sense, I suppose. Oh, go back to that school bus. Where was that school bus? Right there. School district number 35, Langley. Okay, well, let's take a look. I mean, Langley might be the name of the town as well. 132nd Street. So we're looking for 232nd Street. Right here. And it was, what, 64th Avenue? Okay, we went this way. I'm probably not gonna get there in time. Probably more so, like, back here. Let's get some of it more right there. I think they're gonna be fairly close. Oh, it was back over that way. Actually, even further. Please stop doing that. I hate that GeoGuessr is doing that now. You can't really zoom out. Yeah, Langley City right there. Well, we're able to salvage at least a somewhat decent score. I mean, we got what, about 15,000? Yeah, just over 15,000. 15,004, in fact. But these two locations really killed us. Um, but at least I got three locations that were pretty close. I mean, the basically one within a mile, one at 1.6 miles, and then 2.8 miles, and then the other two are just terrible, obviously. But you know, I mean, two th or three fifths isn't bad. Meatloaf should have done that instead of two out of three ain't bad. Should have done three or yeah, three out three out of five ain't bad. Well, that's what I'm gonna say about this, anyways. Um, three out of five ain't bad. But anyways, um, that is gonna do it for this episode, though. Um, one thing I want do want to mention is I forgot to mention at the beginning of the episode is if you would like to see me do any custom challenges, um, either challenges that you've created or someone else has, that has created if you'd like to see me play any of those for wednesday's um geoguesser let me know either down in the comments below or on the discussions tab on my youtube channel that is where you can also find if a video is going to be delayed or if there's not going to be any video at all um but yeah, let me know um, if you'd like to see me play a custom challenge. I think that's about it. So yeah, um, hopefully you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And of course, as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye!